Hey guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. on time and we take junk and we turn it into home decor that we sell in our shop in Lehigh, Utah and at jamierayvintage.com. Um, today we are working on Christmas because uh, Debbie Beard was here last week and she went thrifting with Zeb. And I love when <laughs> Debbie comes because she always pushes me out of my comfort zone. Um, I typically just buy Christmas decor for the shop. Occasionally I'll make something, but she found all these really great wreaths, um, like a couple of dollars a piece, but they're pretty basic. And so we're going to zhuzh them up with some IOD molds, resin, copper patina. We thought we'd just play with some of the new Christmas molds that just came out. Um, we do still have two out of the four new IOD Christmas molds in stock. <laughs> uh, two out of the four. We have five of the Blitz and 20 of the holly. So if you haven't scored some of these, definitely pick them up. And we're gonna show you how to pour resin and zhuzh up these cute little, um, this is swag and a garland. We're also gonna use some non-Christmas molds to give you some ideas just in case you didn't get in on them. All right, so this is one of the ones we have left. This is the, uh, it's called the holly lane, if you're looking for it on the website. And then this one, no which is this one, right? Yeah, there's the Blitz. The Blitz, right? Thank you, Caitlin. Just dropped the link to the new IOD products. You could also use some of your existing molds. Um, just because they're not necessarily Christmas doesn't mean that you can't use them. So we've got our Cameo mold out. And I think that's the, is that the Fleur de Lis? Caitlin, um, Laurel? That's not the Laurel mold. This is, yeah, the Laurel. Okay, um, our and Laurel we've used mold. it a lot. Yeah, it's um, well <laughs> used. So. I thought we'd pour, can you pour me a couple of crowns? Okay. Crowns. Crown. Crowns. Say, I can't even say it right. I always call it crayons. That's not right. That's like Crayola. Um, and then we'll Crayon. get started here. I'll see if there's any questions. All right. So we have resin here. And just, you know, if you've dealt with resin, tune out for about 30 seconds. But if not, really important that you use side A and side B equally. And also that you mix it properly because if you don't, it stays oily, it doesn't set up, and then you're gonna be frustrated and grumpy and have a goopy mold too. Um, where's the fishing wire? Fishing wire is right here. You wanna cut me some strands yeah. off? Cut them long, about six Floral inches. Floral wire is probably your best bet, but I don't know. We have this fishing wire. We're like, what do we got, what do we got? And I remember we, we use this to hang stuff in our house for the holidays if we don't wanna see it. Um, it's just fishing line from the store. It's 50 pound. Omniflex 0 0.029, um, high strength line. So we're gonna see if we put this in the back, if we can use it to tie these on and secure them in place. So I'm gonna give myself quite a bit of length here. Do you think this is good? Cause yeah. then we can always trim it. And I'm just gonna pop it in the middle. So on the, I'm gonna have more, I'm gonna mix up as much as I can at once with these two little measuring cups. But what else do you want? Cause that's gonna be more than this will take. Um, just pour me some of the blitz. Okay. Maybe some cameos. I'm trying so to think. you just want like a big variety. I think on this one, I think I'm going to keep it fairly Christmassy. So for this one, I probably just need some. Give me the blitz for this one. When I'm pouring lots of resin, you'll notice I have side A on the left, side B on the right, uh, or vice versa. I can't actually remember. Yeah, vice versa. Um, and I keep them separated like that so that I don't actually get them in together. And then I'm going to pour them into the solo cup. I like these cups because they've got a rounded lip. A rounded lip will help you pour neater into your molds when you're done. Somebody asked if I was feeling better. I'm still like dealing with some upset stomach and I think probably it's just nerves and things my dad dying and whatnot it just messes with your body i told you up this morning i'm like mostly i'm just angry because i usually have really good control of myself and i'm like i cannot She's like mad at herself for <laughs> and i know that that's not healthy so please don't comment don't be mad at i just i'm like why can't i just feel better but yeah so if you see me shaking a little bit i'm just not, not feeling great not 100 percent, but i'm excited to be crafting because this is like therapy for me doing something with my hands keeping myself busy after this, Zeb and I have the brilliant idea. I've got a really dirty couch and family's coming. So we're going to go to the laundromat. The let's just say that Jamie's big white couch that we have in the family room that looks amazing. The dogs have claimed it. It's been a it. long summer. The dogs have claimed it. And we've been gone to 
not keep them off. So yeah, so we're going to wash the couch and work on um, craft kit designs, really hone that in and also maybe book our Airbnb for a trip to France um, and England. We actually are adding England to our trip. We canceled our flight to Marseille and we're just going to fly into Paris. And then we're going to spend a few days there and then we'll take the ferry over to England and then we are going to fly home out of London, we decided, and we added about three days to our trip. So when you're pouring this resin, it's going to go clear on you when you're done stirring and then because it'll be cloudy when you mix the two side A and side B. And then once it goes clear, that's how you know you've got it mixed up well enough. Then it's going to dry. This particular one dries white. We also have a clear that's used for like jewelry making and it's called the clear cast resin on the website. Um, and it takes 24 hours to set up, but it sets up much harder, which is why you can use it for jewelry and things. You could use this for jewelry as well. If you were going to paint it, it also cures up plenty hard. Do we need to let it set up a little bit before we put this in there? Um, oh yeah. I don't know how to keep it down in there. Um, so I'm just going to have to hold it. Okay. I need another one though. Um, no, no, no. What are you doing? No, 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 no. In the middle. I need two ends to tie it on. You want the middle holding it? Yeah, because okay. I was just going to give you a long end to do it. This might not work. We might have to use the wire. Oh, it's already setting up. Okay, give me another one. I got another one right here. Oh, maybe right here. I was prepared. I was not. I'm just going to watch it dry. Okay, that one's not going to be able to go in. That's not a thing. That one's not. Okay. I wasn't, I forgot I we probably, were going to do this. I'm like, ah, we're going to hot I, let glue me, them. Let me, I can hot glue <laughs> the back. I can get it. Like, that might actually be easier to hot glue the wire. Well, we'll this, see. I mean, we're trying things the, out. So we have floral wire. If you have floral wire, use that, but it's at the shop. So but you can see here, can you see that turning white? It's already curing up in just a couple minutes. The somebody wanted to know about the wreath on the door at the shop, like the wooden wreath. There's like a wreath that's like you could buy these half balls on Amazon and you just glue them to a wreath form and then I just put flowers on there. I'm guessing that's the one you're asking about. I made it with my friends last year, but we needed something that said, Here's the front door. So we put a wreath on it. Yeah, people kept going to the side door, which looks like the front door, it's big and fancy and. The problem is I can't twist the bailing wire, and I'm worried it's going to be too heavy. I can twist it. Don't you worry. We're going to see which one works the best. I'm going to vote the bailing wire. Oh, Debbie's on here. Hey, Debbie. We're working with your wreaths, or at least we're trying. I don't... <sighs> We were in business coaching, and I won't tell you who said it, but somebody's like, I hate crafts. And I was like, you know what? I feel that. I don't hate crafting. Like, I enjoy crafting, but sometimes it makes me nervous. Some people are just, like, naturally better at the little crafting doodads. And for me, it's like a stretch. Sometimes I love it, and then sometimes I'm like, ooh, that's awful. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> Ew, that's gross. Debbie so loves just, wreaths. So I'm just going to get a few little wires ready to go and pour a bunch. All right. As soon as the first one's out, I'm going to I like your cover. your fishing line idea, but I just don't it's hard. I got to hold it the whole time. So I'm just putting a little eye in the bottom of this so that it gives it more to hold on to when I put it in the resin. Oh, let me see if we can get that to focus. Well, you can kind of see it. It's in there pretty good though. I think you only have to hold it for like a second. All right, that won't focus. It's too tiny. There we go. So there, <laughs> I'm just putting a little eye in there. Caitlin says, this is making you realize I should decorate for Halloween. For me, for Halloween, I put out black candles and candelabras, which I should do. I need to find my black candles. And then I put giant spiders hanging from the rafters and I put bats all over the wall. And that's basically it. <laughs> <laughs> that's me that's actually more than I've done in the past our house kind of lends itself to kind of a like a Victorian type Halloween situation do you know where my black candles are though I think they're in, and in the basement one, one no, of those, they're in one of those cabinets over there 
All right, <clears throat> mix up some more resin. So this is the original cup that I mixed up in. I'm gonna put that aside until that cures up because you don't want to get anything that may not have been mixed up together. Oh, ooh, almost Debbie wants that. us to put the burlap ribbon in for texture. So I'm gonna have to do that because I don't like, I'm not good at ribbon. Also, we don't have it here. Yeah, I do. Oh, you brought it's it? It's in that basket, but it just looked big. I brought um, fabric to tie in for texture. I have grain sack scraps. We sell this grain sack on the website, jamierayvintage.com. And we always have like little odds and ends left over. So I thought this would be good because it's like the red and white stripe one. And I could put that in there, but I don't know how to like attach it. Okay, this one should be ready to demold. That one, you got to wait. The crown part that's thin is not ready. I know. I'm, oh, I'm, nope, we're not quite ready on this. It's still, I'm patiently still curing. Waiting. The, so the small little pieces and the detail will take longer to cure. Um, the center is already cured up. It's ready to go. So I want, can you just pour me a bunch of cameos? That's what I want for the wreath. The yeah. crown. So I'm going to do like a French country theme on the wreath. And then the swag is going to be more traditional Christmas. And I'm going to let you figure out how you want to paint the swag. So that's, that'll yeah. be you. And I'm going to do all copper and grain sack on the wreath. And I, people always ask us like how much we're going to charge. I have no idea. <laughs> Depends on how cool it is. Well, hopefully this gives you some good ideas. I mean, we picked these up at the thrift store for a couple bucks. Yeah. I also may, I also love to take like cinnamon sticks and tie them together and put them in wreaths because they smell good and adds like a natural element. Um, we do sell the resin on our website as well. You you couldn't use paper clay for this. You could probably use the clay that you bake. Um, if you are doing resin, you should be wearing gloves and be in a well-ventilated area. It's things to keep in mind. The nice thing about the resin is you will get to see all of the lovely detail um, in like it just is really, really detailed when they come out, which is nice. And when you're putting the copper on, it just really helps. We have white wax too, right? Um, actually, I couldn't find white wax yesterday. Okay. I'll just do dark wax on them. So I'm just doing all of these with the leftover. Okay. Sorry. You guys, sometimes you guys have to watch paint dry, and currently you're watching resin dry. All right. All right. We'll see if that works. I mean, I this don't. This also works in like the jewelry making aspect of it. If you need to put a chain you need in. to help hold something? Yeah, probably. Just until it starts turning white. I'm just going to sit here and hold this. Some of these we may have to just glue on. And they should Jamie, start turning Jamie, pretty quick. Jamie, Jamie, use the red and white grain sack for the ribbon on the wreath or swag. Yeah, that's what I was thinking it would be pretty. That's kind of my jam is green sack. How do I have to hold it still? Yeah, pretty still as it sets up. Once it starts going white, though, you should be able to let go. We'll see how long that takes. We will see. Nothing like watching resin slash paint dry. Oh, see, mine's turning right Sandra there. Sandra says, my air dry clay is too dry. Any way to revive it? Yeah. So just add a wet wipe or a wet paper towel in a baggie with your air dry clay, zip it tight, let it sit overnight, and that should help it. Um, if it doesn't, then it might be too far gone. These but little ones, I figure we can just glue. You could just glue them on? Yeah, they'll hold better. Okay. Although you got yours coming out crazy on the side. Um, sorry. It's okay. I, I didn't have a lesson on this ahead of time. <laughs> the fact that I'm sitting still enough to hold this is like, <laughs> you may never see this again. Should be should be good it's enough. It's getting there. There, I can hold this now. I got yours. How is Mama Rose? Well, she fell. I got yours. You can move ahead. Um, last week, and so she's pretty sore. She's supposed to go to the dentist this morning, and that didn't happen. All right. I'm going to see if she, I can She voted that right off the island. She did vote that right off the island. She's doing pretty good. Okay. Oh, that little cross is going to be the devil. I feel like that's counter. That is probably <laughs> counterproductive to say that. But it's just, it's, 
It's going to take forever to set up. It's not. I want to paint something. All right, I have this you can paint. You're going to make it go copper. So look how much detail is on these. I need you to open this. And the if resin you, picks them up. If you ever have copper patina and you don't have a zeb to open it or any of the patinas in there, because they're really solid when they dry, you can take a butter knife and loosen up the edges or warm water around the edge. If you're ever going to keep clay for a long period of time, double bag it. You just, because you just have to think like air dries out the clay. So you've got to keep it as airtight as possible. You could probably even use one of those like sealers, you know, where you suck the air out of stuff. The one we use for preserving. Oh, the vacuum food. sealer. Yeah. Yeah. Top of everything else. I was like, let's pick all the tomatoes out of the garden. So we're going to work on that. The housekeepers are coming today, so we got to pull tidy up. I'm like, oh, a whole summer of construction and being away from home, our houses. I, I'm a little worried about what they're going to say when they get here. They're just going to charge you a lot of money for all the corners. <laughs> they're going to be like, okay, well, there's dirt in every corner of this house. Here we go. All right, so this is going to transform pretty quickly with this copper patina. I love the copper patina on the white resin because it just stands out so well and you really only need one coat. The golden ticket is pretty as well. You're just gonna need more coats because it's just not as thick. It's whatever's in the makeup of the gold that makes it not as thick, but the copper is just like, boom. And we all know copper is my favorite anyways, so there you go. I was trying to think this morning, I'm like, how do I decorate my Christmas tree? And I always have ornaments made out of IOD resin and copper. Like that's what goes on my tree. Sometimes I put them on like canning jar lids or like old spaghetti lids and then I paint them and put them on my tree. We put them, we backed them with wood before and put them on the tree, but that's how I decorate. Okay, I'll bring this up close so you guys can see. I'm just trying to make these so they can stand up on their own. There we go. Okay, this is from Blitz. Let's see if I can get it to be not so. There you go. Simple. But I like the copper, and it's going to stand out really well against the green. So we'll let you this try. This one. Yep. Well, or you can do it first. This one's going copper too. Put your whole hand behind it. No, you just zoom it in. There you go. All right. So this one has the fishing wire. Th that did work. Yeah, it worked good. It's just going to be, I think it's going to be hard to tie it evenly and make it hang straight. Well, we'll find out. We will find out. Just my personal observation. <laughs> Michelle, love how Zeb just effortly opens the copper. Get yourself a crafty man <laughs> so it can open all your paint cans. Debbie kept trying to haul stuff with me. I'm like, Debbie, just, just let it go. Stop. Stop. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try not to paint the copper. They're the copper. I was having a conversation with Harrington in the car. His So his, his truck got rear-ended while it was parked on the side of the road. And then his motorcycle, even though it's been getting super cold in the morning, he was riding that to work. Um, and that died on him, something with the transmission. It's under warranty because it's brand new this year that he bought it. So he, we had to run that down there. And while we were running all the errands for Harrington the other day, we were, uh, we were talking uh, about his, his working out and stuff. I'm like, you know, you're probably a lot tougher than I ever was at this point. And he's like, I know. I'm like, and then somehow we got on the conversation of like wrestling and things like that. I'm like, don't worry, I can still take you even though I'm old. And he's like, no, you can't. I'm like, yeah, I can. I just hit you with something. I don't know why it came up, but these are the conversations dads have with sons when they're in the car by, with each other. <laughs> um, I don't know why we were talking the other day to Cooper and his dad about this. It was after a football game, and his dad's like, "I could still, I could still take him." Maybe it's maybe it's the dads. They don't, don't like, like getting, uh, they don't like getting old. I'm like, I'm on the back end. <laughs> my cheese mode thing. It just made me laugh. Cooper's probably, dad is so tall, though. He's like 6'5". Yeah, he's, he's a big guy. He's taller than Cooper. Who is here? Speaking of which, is that Odelia? It is Odelia. She got back from the dentist. 
Have you ever used the hot glue in the molds? Yes, I hate it. <laughs> so it doesn't work and it's bubbly and oops. it never looks as good. There's probably a technique to it that I lack. So we had some stuff. Let me see if I can get these to focus. Come on, focus for me. All right, there we go. So we had some stuff in the molds and so these have a little discoloration on them. So if you're worried about that and you're doing jewelry with clear, make sure your molds are really clean. Yeah, we don't, we don't uh, clean our molds. It adds to the ambiance. All right. <laughs> More all, copper coming up. We're all about texture. All right. These are just about ready. This one is ready. That worked out good, but you're going to have to bend this back like crazy. I'm going to let that cure up a little more because it's bending it when I bend the wire. Hopefully this slow pace of video is all right for you guys. We're just going to slowly work on our craft. But you see how fast that sets up? I mean, how long have we, well, how long ago did I pour those? Five minutes ago? Yeah, they don't take too long. So you can, that's the nice thing. So the air dry clay, you could probably do this. Just know that you might run into some, uh, with the wire or tying them on. I would probably glue them on if you were going to do the air dry clay and still be I feel like they'd just be it. too fragile. But the all resin's right. nice because, you know. And it takes literally like no copper go. patina to do this. Plus it has a built-in sealer. So it's like a one and done. You paint it and you're finished. So this turned out great. You could do all sorts of applications with this because this baling wire is going to hold pretty tight. Oops, throwing stuff at you. Here, you want to start painting? No, I'm going to pour some more. Pour some more. Do it again. Pour some more. <laughs> That's a chair. What's that chair? Like, score do it. Some more. Score some more. <laughs> it is a chair. Yeah. I knew it. Do it again. Score some more. But in this case, it'd be like, pour some more. Sorry. We're cheer parents. There's always a cheer on our brain, which reminds me of Eliza's a game today. So we need to look at the schedule and figure out how we're going to do Eliza's game. And when is everybody Jack's coming practice. into town? Like Friday night, we're going to be busy. Yeah, I don't know, but they all have places to stay. Okay. So we'll be at a football game Friday night. Where is the football game this week? It is in Jordan. There we go. Oh, I love the cameo. That's really pretty. Can you guys see that? I think we can. I don't know. That's a long way. We're going to bring you guys up close. We'll, I'll zoom in here in a minute. And once we start putting them on the wreaths and stuff, we'll see how that goes. Do you want more cameos or do you want more Christmas stuff? Mm. Do we want to do any of these? Whatever you want to do. I don't care. Whatever I want to do. That's Whatever dangerous. you want to do, and I will I will paint it. You make it, I will paint it. I'm going to do another couple crowns then. Okay. We actually probably have a bunch. You know, you know how I was like, oh, we should have some pre-made? I think I have a bunch of them in the drawer. You know, the we crowns? always have extras. They're just molds, because we always have a little extra resin, and we pour a few extra things that we don't want up using. Okay. I'll look. I'm going to see if I can get this big... We use amazing Snowflake. casting resin. Um, so this is what the Patricia. box looks like. And it, we use the, the, it's important to order the, which one, what is this one? This is the fast drying one. It's the white yeah, one. It's just called amazing casting resin. Yeah. The other one is called clear cast. Yeah. And that's, this is, we do sell both on our website at jamiereyvintage.com. So just be careful that you're ordering the, what is this called? But like, is there a specific? It's the purple box one. No, it's amazing. Caitlin will drop the link. Amazing casting resin. That's amazing need, casting resin. Don't order the clear cast. There we go. That's what I meant to say. Somebody said they love this pace. Who is that? They like the slower pace. This is where we're at today. The slower pace is what we have. I think it's going to be a steady, slow pace all day for all the things, and maybe even a nap. I need a nap. Yeah, Zeb has a little bit of a cold. I think his body is just like going in overdrive, trying to do all the things. All right. Okay, so you see how I've got that just kind of able to sit? Perfect. Nice. Now I don't have to hold it the whole time. Let's see if we can watch this uh, set up. Because I love, I love, hey, oh, we'll go over here to Jamie. Oh, so you, you can see that pretty well. 
I like how we did it like 8,000 ways. We're like, here's thick wire. Here's with fishing line. We got to give them options. Oh, look at that's already setting up. See how fast that went. I'm not even time lapsing this and you can see it turning white. Jane said, once a cheerleader, always a cheerleader. She was repeating a cheer this morning. I was only a cheerleader in junior high, but I still remember my cheers. <laughs> All right. Are you using the hot glue gun? I see you got it on. Are we going to glue those? I mean, eventually. Okay. I'm going to make up some more of these, but I got to get some more wire bent right. All right. Do anything else? Do you need me a paint? Um, in just a sec, do you want to start... Do you want me to start positioning those? Um, they need to dry. Here, I'm going to get you some and wire. I don't really want to use the heat gun because it'll bubble and I don't want to like make my resin soft. I'm going to so get you some to... wire so you can hot glue it. Hot glue what? To the ones that don't have backers. Or do you want to just hot glue them to the wreath? I'm just going to hot wreath? glue them to the wreath because okay. they're little. I thought that was the plan. Okay. Is my first one done that I painted? No, it's still drying. All right, I'm getting faster at bending these too. Practice. I'm gonna makes get better. some scissors and cut some um, grain sack. So hopefully, some people have asked when we're gonna give another video of the church, like us setting up and moving and all that. I have a ton of footage that I've just haven't had time to go through. Hopefully Friday. So yeah, maybe Thursday or Friday, one of the two. We will have that out. Um, I'll have a chance to edit all of that and and uh, show you guys the setup and a little bit of the grand opening too. Because we, we don't have a ton of footage because I'm usually the shutter bug for that kind of stuff, and I just didn't film much because I wasn't feeling good. I was barely surviving because my stomach was so bad. I'm like, why you wait all these months to do something and then you feel rotten? All right, let me this fabric oh is it pulling what is the fabric pulling oh it's fine i'm just pulling off like i'm just gonna cut some of the strings so sky's kind of the limits with wreaths you can do all sorts of stuff with them it really just depends on what you want hanging off your front door true that it's a really great way to use up odds and ends if you like a little, if you like save every broken piece of jewelry or every broken ornament. It's a good way to use it all up. It's a good reason to hoard stuff. I might make a wreath with that. <laughs> with hoarded stuff? Yeah, with hoarded stuff. We, uh, we were talking last night. I'm like, I just need like two or three days. I need to go through my garage. I need to find all my tools and get them all back together with like tools so I can find them. And uh, I, I just need to need... throw out all the trash that I'm definitely like scraps that we saved from the uh, church construction that I'm definitely not going to use. <laughs> go through all my drawers where I've just been putting important papers and Oop. now have forgotten where those are at. <laughs> Let's see. Barbara says she's making cement pumpkins. That's fun. Nice. I want to do some cement stuff and, and make some big molds. We'll see if we get around to that. October is going to come and go for us pretty quick. So I don't know if we'll make it. Yeah. Maybe we're going to be gone half of the month in Europe. So, I mean, it's a rough life, but someone has got to live it. All right. There's another one of those with a wire on it. Look at this big one. I love how big it is. Oh, that needs a little, little bit more time. Okay, I'm gonna do another crown. Did I not do a crown last time? I was talking about doing another crown and I didn't. So far, we've used up about half, a, a third of this resin to kind of give you an idea of how many projects you can get out of it and how far it'll go. You can cast a lot of things. Somebody asked if our new shop would be open all winter. Yes, we're yeah. open all winter. We close for like Christmas, Christmas Eve, New Year's. 
we don't get that. We, we're in the middle of town, so it's not like they don't plow the roads. And like, uh, they might plow the roads. As I said it's not like they don't plow the roads. Oh, yeah. Because where we're at in town is like main roads. So they do. And we, we could snowshoe it if we had to to get into work. But yeah, no, we'll still be open. The uh, business does not. We don't not, really get that much yeah, snow down here in the valley. We're at about 4,600 feet. Um, the mountains up here by us go up over 11,000 feet. So it's just, you know, they get all the snow and we get some. Oh, need to hit the button. Oh, you um, want to show them this? It's like ridiculously satisfying to take these from plastic to like bougie in about three seconds with this copper patina. Oh, yeah, you can see it good. So this is just the DIY pennies from heaven. It's a copper patina. Once you're done, it's got a built-in sealer as just part of what it is. So it's ready to go once it dries up. And this is this is one coat, isn't it, Jamie? What? One coat. Um, yeah, just and one this coat. Is, it doesn't take much. You can kind of see how I embedded that. I just put a little eye on the back of it, a little circle, and then the wire hanging out the back. So we can tie these on pretty much anywhere. And if you want fancier ribbon, use like floral or fancier uh, wire, use floral wire. I'm DIYing a little tiny wax brush. This is just a cheap craft brush, like a painting brush. And I just cut all the wispy ends off. And this is going to work perfect to do my dark wax when I'm ready. I got to wait till they dry all the way. Let's use this one dry. That one's not quite. Sometimes the paint like pulls up in the cracks and then it takes forever. Let's see if this one's dry. This one. Yeah, it seems to be mostly dry. You want to be really dry before you put the dark wax on it. That's I'm going to wait just a little bit. Odelia has to get her wisdom teeth pulled out. When? Hmm. Is that what the dentist said this morning? Yeah. I gotta stop sending her there. I told her maybe after comp season. Yeah, that's a that's like a couple days of downtime. We should just her and Coop could get their wisdom teeth out together, and then they could just watch TV and. Uh oh, can, I'm losing them. We can make funny videos. We'll have Nicole come over, <laughs> or we'll go over there, because. <laughs> It's always funny when kids, especially kids, set up so especially good fast. kids that have never uh, experimented with things that they should not, you put them on pain meds. It can be fairly entertaining. Cody, it's okay. Harrington has to get his out too. Yep. So I waited too long on the pour. This one's not, this one's going to be missing some of its detail because I came and showed you guys. <laughs> and my resin was already half set up by the time I poured it. Do you need to put cornstarch in the molds? Not, no, not no, on, no. not on the resin. It'll come right out. They make a resin release spray. Is it like alcohol or something you can like spray in there? But I've never had to use it. So yeah. these ones aren't like all the way in there. Will that matter? No, I think it's going to stick pretty good to them. Okay, so they I were think... setting up fast, and I kind of just set them on top. If you're worried about it, put a bead of hot glue on, and they'll never move. Rex, don't eat my wreaths. He's just, he's just checking them out, making sure they're safe. Are they safe, Rexy? I need like a some fabric. Do we have like I need because I'm gonna have to wipe back. What do we got? What do we got? Do you have a big one that you've done? Or is this the first one? Um, there's a rag over in that drawer over there. Okay. Let me see. That's very bright. Let me see if I can tone this back a little. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now you guys can kind of see. You can see my wire in the back, but that doesn't really affect the detail because it didn't go into the mold part. It just was in the resin. So once we paint that, you won't see that. All right. I'm just gonna dark wax this Pro oh this copper is not dry all the way oh you mean, well. you mean get the heat gun out just be careful not to burn your hand or i'm un petite and patient if i have to i can just like dry brush copper on the top details cody is all kinds of pumped up this morning about something he's all over the place odelia i don't know where she went let me ask if she had any cavities. Oh, I hope not. 
Yeah. The other, the, probably a year or two ago, we took her and she had like four. It's amazing how the older the kids get and they start liking Here, do people. you want me to bring it close so they can see sure. you pull that back? And I, I am pulling back some of the copper because it wasn't quite dry, so I'll just dry brush copper on. They start doing better at brushing their teeth and they get less cavities once they start liking boys or boys start liking girls. Eliza's never not brushed her teeth. Eliza's just really good. All right, so I did, it wasn't quite dry, so I'm pulling back some of the copper, but it's okay. It's more did you have any cavities? Oh, you should have seen if they could just get you in tomorrow because I got to take the boys. I guess you can just drive yourself, so it doesn't really matter. Wax last, but since these are decor, we're not going to worry about it. Here we go. Done. Ta-da. So, like, this is just the plain copper on one side, which is really beautiful, and but then there's the dark waxed copper. You guys can kind of see the difference. And I'm going to go for the dark waxed copper because I can, and I like it. How'd you guys up there kind of crazy? You don't have to have your wisdom teeth removed, but if you have a crowded mouth, it can be un petit problematic. All right, you know what? I will heat, where's the heat gun? You want a heat gun? I'll let you heat gun and then I will paint these because I really need them to be dry all the way before I wax these. And then we'll actually attach them to the wreath. We're gonna get there. We're almost, we're almost there guys. We're gonna bring it home, maybe. I really like this crown. Like this is so perfect for Christmas decorations. It's pretty. I got a little one for you too, although it got over poured because it was thick. So this one, are we just going to hot glue some fishing? I think if we just use fishing line and hot glue it, because it's lightweight, it'll be easier to do that than try to put okay. some big, thick wire on this one. the hot glue gun there. Do Let's see. We, let me try that. Here. And here's this. This is not going to work. I already have some cut. Okay. I'm just going to hold this here till it sets. Somebody said they want to hear about your trip to France. You went to France again? No, we're going to France. October. October 13th through the 24th, but we've switched our plans. We were going to go to Provence, but um, I am just not in the mood to try something I've never been before. We don't speak very good French, and she just wants kind of like a relaxing, leisurely trip as we pick junk up through the countryside. <laughs> so we've decided to go to, to fly into Paris and kind of stay on the Normandy side of France because there's, there's more English of, speakers. Lots of English speakers on that side and even in Paris. And we and like, we're familiar with the area because we've been there before. And we could probably muddle through with some broken French and figure things out. There's a lot of people that speak English over in France, but um, we're not that good at it yet. And so we're just, you know, we're going to hop over to England and finish our trip out there after we get all the good, the good uh, green canning jars and all of their linens. So the, the plan is we'll stay in France for three or four days through the first weekend. Then we'll pack everything up, ship it home, have just our bags, drop off our rental car, take the ferry over to England. And then we'll rent a car in England and finish our trip out there, ship all that stuff and then fly out of London. So it'll be good. All right, let me show you this real fast. This is the one that didn't get all of the pour. I'm still going to use it because it still looks great, even though it doesn't have all of these little uh, edges on it because my resin was getting too thick and it didn't run into the fine details. So just watch out for that if you're if you're pouring resin. Um, <clears throat> you got to work kind of quick sometimes. Rex is huge. Rex is huge. Um, he's, he's pretty tall. He gets He's not tall enough to get food off the counter, and he does. And he, everybody's He's a like, stinker. He pulls stuff off my nightstand. Like basically, he needs He's like a toddler. So I was talking to someone that came in, and they send their dog to a bird dog school. 
and they come they don't necessarily learn how to like hunt birds but there we go. they come back like super well behaved it's like a six week thing you send them there and then they come back <clears throat> and they're uh and they've done it with three of their dogs and they love it and they're down in Payson so I might that I might just good. be like uh, the, oh yeah that, that'll hold that on a wreath yeah so I might just be like all right guys I because I did a lot of work with them when they were first like new puppies and we first had them but then we got going full bore on the church and so if you need to here's that. and they weren't alone at home Jamie's parents have been here pretty much the whole time but it's not but, their job to train our dogs but they've also got like some habits that I don't I still don't have time to to work out so all right um which are these all dry now can I dark wax yeah them? yeah these are ready for the dark wax let me I'm gonna zoom in close while you're dark waxing so work like right there right there yeah okay. not very good at the so if you don't want to embed in the resin with the wires like we're doing hot glue would do it I mean these are going on wreaths we use a high temp hot glue that works really well on a lot of things so I mean, we do upholstery with the high tampon glue. That is that is a true story. All right. Okay, don't move from your little workspace. Actually, I'm going to come and bring them, give a little better top-down view. There we are. All right. I love to do this because what, if you've ever tried to make a wreath and you go to buy things like this, that's really cost oh, prohibitive, this, but resin is so much less expensive. This little thing here that we just poured with the resin. Um, so a bottle of resin is 20 bucks, but we're going to get out probably 20 pieces. So if you, if you think about that, a dollar a piece, um, this would probably be 250 down at a craft store unless you found it on sale. And I can never find the things that I want. No offense to the craft stores. Some of their stuff is just flat out cheesy. And it's just not my style. And so I love the ability to take, you could do the same techniques. You could do the, if you have a coastal home, you could use the seashell mold. If you're really into horses, or you could use the fox and hound mold. I mean, the sky's the limit. And you just add some ribbon to it and you can really customize and make your decor match your style. Maybe I'll get Cooper and we'll do a bunch of farm animals. His mom really likes pigs. I told him, I said, well, we'll get together. We'll make her some Christmas presents because I, I got all the pig stuff. Make sure some boozy, well, bougie, they, bougie pig they ornaments. They show them at the fair. Yeah. All right, there's that. So here's kind of the difference between the dark wax and no dark wax. It's pretty dramatic, especially on this cameo. Do the flower one. This is so detailed. This is dark wax, Caitlin. Black wax, black wax would work too, but this is dark wax. Just yeah. happens to be what we have. It's what was in the cabinet. Mm. All right, how much time do we have? Oh, we got plenty of time. Oh, um, they, uh, Barley's Vintage said they just used sun, made sunflowers. Didn't we do sunflowers for somebody last year for Christmas? Was it Maddie? She made it for her mother-in-law? Yeah. Christmas ornaments. Actually, we have jewelry somewhere. We probably should eventually list that. And I had it in someone the shop. come into the shop and they got all kinds of excited when I told them you could do silver solder in the molds because they make jewelry. That's oh, like fun. they have like a booth down in Pleasant Grove and they do the market that's there every weekend. Oh, really? Um, yeah. And so I was like, hey, try. I, but I could not find the video where we did that. Oh, like yeah. I was Googling Did you it. You just Google Jamie Ray vintage jewelry. We yeah. only have one video. Yeah, it didn't come up. Hmm. That's weird. Anyway, she, uh, I, I told her how to do it. And it was, she was excited because she had a bunch of the molds already and she's been pouring the resin in them. Mm -hmm. But some of the resin she uses like a four day resin. Oh, gosh. That she dries like super, super hard. I'm like, no, just do the silver solder because she's trying to get into like metallurgy and things. Yeah, that's fun. You know, we could make some cute earrings and jewelry for the shop. Because Debbie's like, we need more jewelry. But I have a hard time finding one. Maybe we'll just put Eliza in charge of that. She's been making bracelets and she wants to do a little bracelet display. 
Yeah, I need to get that in the store. I Maybe I should just put you in charge of that. She needs help pricing them. She made all that jewelry. Yeah, I'll, maybe I'll help her next couple of days. Maybe we're a week. household full of makers. We like to make stuff. <laughs> That's why our house is never quite clean because we're always mid-project. All right, you can zoom out now. I think people have seen enough of my They've seen enough of your hands. My hands. All right, are we ready to start putting stuff on or do you want me to dry these and get these going too? Oh my gosh, this one with the sheep is like... Oh. We need to play I with them more. Okay. Is it too early to put my Christmas tree up? Uh, <laughs> I vote yes. We can decorate for Halloween and fall Mostly over there. Mostly because I don't know how the dogs are going to do with it. Oh my gosh, I will end them. <laughs> Dogs, did you hear that? Don't touch my tree. All right, we got to do it now so they can get used to it. They will just not be allowed in the living room. Yep. Like, sorry. Put up a little baby gate. I didn't think about that. They're so, so lucky. So both cute. of them are rescue dogs. We didn't know how big Cody was going to get, and he kind of mostly stayed the same size as when we got him. He, he was 8 pounds when we got him, and he's 11 pounds now. Um but Rex was 12 pounds when we got him and super underfed. I didn't know if he was like a medium sized golden doodle or you can get the miniatures or even like the toys, but he was already bigger than a toy. So we knew he wasn't going to be that. And then you can get the standard size, which get to be like a hundred pounds, but he ended up being a medium. He, he's still putting on weight. He's a, he's a year old now, but I like Cody's great. Love Cody. He's got a lot of spunk and energy, but I love big dogs um and so i'm super glad that he grew up to be fairly big they might not mess with it they don't mess with the stuff that's on the coffee table um they've been picking stuff off of there lately no they picked something off the side table but i've never had them like eat anything off the coffee table All this right, one gonna... is not oh that one's not ready for you sorry are you hot gluing i was just putting on the back of this one Yeah, I just put hot glue and fishing line on the back of the ones that we didn't put a backer on, and I think it'll work fine. We're, we're going to find out in a minute if it does. So if you want something to be really crisp on the copper, paint it white first and then put the copper on it. And these are already white, so it's perfect. All right, this one needs a backer. I just want to show them this, how much more the detail pops on these big snowflakes. Yeah. I'm actually surprised we have some of the blitz molds still left because. How many do we have? Like five. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah they're good. They're really good. Are we going to make them double-sided? No, because they're not ornaments. They're going on the wreath. Look at that. It's even got some shimmer. We have made two-sided ornaments before, but. That's not, that's not what we're doing here with these oops. and this is pretty big like this is see how big that is in my hand it's like a large cookie it's like a crumble cookie all right that one's still drying okay let's start attaching this to something okay let's put them on things we only got about 10 minutes left all right slide this away oh there was still resin in that and what oh the side d My hands pretty much always look like this. And I went to get a manicure yesterday and the guy's face was like, what have you been doing? Luckily, I just got clear nail polish because it's already starting to peel off. I don't live a manicured life. All right, do you want to put- All right, let's do this wreath Here, hand me the first. wax and I'll wax these real fast. Got it. This is the one I'm doing first. Now I'm wondering if I should arrange the, I think I'm going to arrange the ribbon first and then Let's figure out how I want to do this. Make sure I like that. Yeah. This is just grain sack fabric that I've ripped 
and then I'm just wedging it in here. And then once I kind of get it how I want it, of course it's not quite enough. <laughs> Fine. I can. Pour, are you going to glue it in? Yeah, I'm just arranging it. Told you I'm not a Christmas wreath decorator. I once took a wreath class. Remember that time I did that wreath class? Yep. Took, turned out pretty good, but that's because they did it for me. My favorite wreaths you've made are those uh, coffee filter, filter ones. ones. I'm going to need more. There's just no. Can't not happening. Yeah, I need lots of. You have more fabric down below. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna work on half of this wreath, and then I can always do the other half later. I love what the dark wax does. I mean, the the copper looked really good. But for our decor, I almost feel like it was too shiny a copper. Yeah. We are all of our copper in the house is kind of tarnished. Well, you just didn't see any of the detail. <clears throat> I'm just going to kind of bunch it up and go through the middle and then we'll just put the things in here. You could wrap it around. I mean, it's not really a wrong way. Uh, somebody who does a wreath would probably be like, that's the wrong way. Well, you know what? I don't know that there is a wrong way to craft anything, honestly. As long as you get the end result that you were looking for, it's the right way to do it. Uh, I probably definitely do things the wrong way. but No. And I even ran into that when I was building the house. There's probably easier ways to do some of the things I did. But when the inspector came by, we passed all the inspections and it's fine. Why isn't this? Oh, there we go. Glue? No, this wasn't in there correctly. Oh. I love this glue gun. I'm so glad that I went on Amazon to try to find the glue gun that works with the Milwaukee system since they don't make one. Stinking Milwaukee, are you listening? This glue gun works. If you it have is. a Ryobi system, they make it. Yeah, Ryobi makes a, a cordless glue gun. All right. Too. I can always it add more glue if batteries. I need to. There we go. We're, we're starting to get there. This is just the rip. Up fabric. That's why if you buy the grain sack to do like upholstery or whatever, and you have just little bits and scraps, save that because it's perfect for adding some dimension to a wreath or like grain sack would be good. Okay. So now I need to figure out where I want to add my copper. Right, I'm not going to permanently place them in there until I know that I like the layout okay i'm gonna ditch these gloves so i don't get copper and resin all over the wreath you guys see what i'm doing here okay i'm gonna move, pull back so you guys can see i'm also going to need some berries seb seb do you want to um kind of arrange these i don't ah uh, that's all right I'm going to cut some more fabric so we can finish this okay, all the way around. To, so you cut more fabric and I'll put these ones on okay. that you already have arranged. And then I need berries from that other wreath. And I'm going to put some berries in there because we need some. We need some berries. Okay. Where did my scissors go? Did I put them back? Oh, they're there. Um, no, I'm not right. sure. It was not my day to watch them. It's not your day to watch them. So how tight do you want these on there? Do you want these? I'm going to. Uh, well, just kind of place them and then we can always. Whatever. So this has a nice wire wreath form on the back, which is super handy for tying these on. Debbie had also this big burlap ribbon, but I don't know. All right, that got a little lost back there. It got tight when I pulled it, so I'm just gonna pull it up above. Okay, and those two kind of stayed because the wire's doing its thing. The wire is nice. If you can get some baling wire or floral wire, it holds these on really well. 
and right where I want them. Like I can bend them, kind of manipulate them a little bit. Where is that wire? Oh, it's poking down over there. So don't cover up the ribbon too much. So will you make a bow? Probably, but not on camera. <laughs> not today. Although I'm actually, I'm going to be 152% honest. I'm not a huge bow person. All right, so. let me show you kind of where we're at so far. We need to add some We're going to get berries. some more on. Where's my little clippers? Your clippers? I got them right here. Why don't you keep going with that and glue that in where you want it? Okay. And I'll get you some berries. Okay. Is that what we're using this for, these ones that are kind of broken? I'm just going to cut these off, right? Yeah, I'm not going to sell that wreath as is. That's... It's, it's a... Uh, it's, it's it's a parts parts wreath it's a parts you know people have parts cars <laughs> we have a parts wreath we're just using the parts we went down to the uh the thrift store slash junkyard yeah actually so i've been looking i got to tow my tractor around and probably lots of equipment to, you know we already if you guys saw the reel we already found like our next church project it's not, it's for, not sale. for sale and i don't think it's going to be but it you probably know you got won't be for sale but you it's all the answer is always going to be no if you don't ask. Right. So and we asked and we're waiting to hear back. Um, you know, we want to build a cabin. So I need a bigger truck. Oh, that's 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 what we're talking about here. Conversation. I my half ton pickup is great, but it doesn't tow well. Uh, like it tows fine, but not as much as I need it to. Because my it's Jeep like, tows better. Let's just say it's basically like the sport model made for going off road. And so the suspension's really soft. So when you put a load on it, it does this down the highway going more than like 65 miles an hour. Um, anyway, but I wanted to go, instead of buying like a new fancy truck, I was thinking maybe get like an old like 1950s truck, could put a flatbed on it, restore it, put in maybe a new engine in there and transmission. My dad does that, like, and my brother does is a diesel mechanic for a living. I think we could make it happen between the three of us. I'll there, paint it. No. Anyway. You can hire a mechanic. <laughs> but I think I might go that route. I've started looking into that. Now I just need to find the truck that's not all super Your deep. dad who has been on the side of the road so all weekend? So if you know of a truck, I will travel to pick it up. Because they're hard to find like a 1950s. Um, not, I'm not talking like a Chevy pickup or, I mean, it might be a Chevy, but like the bigger working trucks, almost like a semi truck. I'm going to glue these into place once I know I like them. Because that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> I thought that would be way more fun than. I say yes, but can we just take it to like a place, like a mechanic we could shop? Just, so, so the place Ty used to work. They do that kind of stuff. Like they'll retrofit. Yeah. Things like Ty has a full-time job and your dad's 70. And also, like I said, recently been on the side of the road with his truck broken down. I mean, he's still I'm trying to get home from, he can't make it. Not Texas. a fan. All right. So you just want these kind of places in a circle around. Well, we need to start getting out. You need to start. What about this one? This branching one's, out. This one's big. Should it be on the bottom? Or, oh, on the top. Yeah, I think maybe right on the middle on the right top. Right on the middle on the top. And then I'll glue all those berries in. The berries help. The berries help. Um, and then where do those pine cones go? Do we throw them out? They were in that goose. Oh, I don't know where you went with those. All right, kind of lay these out. You're better at layout than I, I am. I want to add, I, hold on just a second. Hold, please. This is the one that I had to embed and it didn't quite get all the resin around it. So I'm, I just put some hot glue over the top to give it some extra strength. Same with this one here. It's pretty stuck in there, but I just want to make sure that it doesn't fly off. We're probably going to put this on the front door and we get crazy winds in the winter and it'll. Oh yeah, I like that. So let's add these. These are just like. The white flowers. Just poke them in. I don't think they need glue. Oh, I will glue them. Oh, Can I have the. Yep. Here, you need another glue yeah. stick. Definitely needs more copper on there. I will glue them, but not till we're done. Here's the clippers, the clipper dues. There, oh, they there they are. And these are just floral that you, did we find that at the thrift store or is that from Ikea? I don't know, probably originally from Ikea. I have floral everywhere. You could never have too much random floral. All right, this one here. I think you never I'm know gonna... when you're gonna be crafting and be like, hmm, I need this, you gotta have it. So you, so you don't want it necessarily all around 
Oh, I don't the, want to use that centered one. around the ribbon, right? I can put some like. Yeah, they need to be there. like. You can't just make it too matchy matchy. Okay, I'm gonna flip it on you. Hopefully, okay. we don't lose all your flowers because I gotta tie this. Kim, um, I am having a hard time reading comments. So, sorry if we're not reactive to the beers as much as. This. My like sometimes I focus. It's funny because there's people that are like, I want you to comment more. And then there's also people, I wish you would get more detail in the craft and chat less. So we, we try to be both. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I'm barely holding it together. So this is what we got. <laughs> oh, that looks good. And I like the addition of these. Uh, the pine cones would be good, but this is kind of more my style. I think I'm trying not to be too symmetrical. I got a, I got a <laughs> snowflake here, a snowflake there. My immediate reaction was, oh, I need to put one here. Um, Zeb, don't do random. Leslie says it's a balancing act. Zeb, can you fix the? Oh yeah, we're camera. over an hour. We got. It's hurry. all right. We're gonna we are gonna finish this because I'm probably not gonna circle back to it. So I gotta right. get at least one wreath finished and in the shop. So now that I'm pulling this together, this wreath is probably gonna be somewhere in the seventy dollar range to give you an idea on price for something like this. We'll put that one in there. Janice says we call them straight trucks, bigger than a pickup, smaller than a semi. Yep. My father-in-law took a picture of him next to a semi. <laughs> His <laughs> load is he's got a one ton dually Dodge oh from 2002 gosh. and his load is like 42,000 pounds. And he's got a big 40 foot gooseneck flatbed trailer that he tows around and he went over the scale with his truck and trailer and everything he was forty two thousand pounds and it's overheating on him so he has to drive at night and that's <laughs> imagine that it's overheating at forty two thousand pounds grandma says that her son's music business she talked to a woman who just moved to lehigh and told him to go to our shop thanks oh, grandma thank you vanessa says don't add pine codes keep it simple no i don't think i'm going to with the addition of these white flowers I feel like it's good. A lot of times, sometimes what I like to do, the really French country stuff up, I'll put like lamb's ear or eucalyptus. Is or... that all of the copper that we had? Um, no, we have more right here. Oh. Let me do this And I got these. Here. We have options. I've kind of just been embedding them in and poking them through and bending it over on the back. I'm not even having I love this, this so much. I can't even tell you. I yeah. want to go find a big wreath like a big, and big do one? it for our front door. Like the big mama jamma. So I will say this. The nice thing about the baling wire is it embedded in here okay, especially especially once I started like bending it to stand up so I could walk away and didn't have to hold it. And I'm not even having to tie or wrap it. I'm just bending it over onto this wreath form and it's holding really well. And it's super easy and fast. Oh, this is smart. Janine says, I use red nail polish to cover up the white on the berries. So if you start to have... The white pop through. Even if I order berries direct from the manufacturer, the styrofoam always winds up hanging out. You just take red nail polish, touch it up. That is brilliant. I like it. We have lots of red. Eliza's basically got a nail salon in her room. True that, but that's all like uh, gel and polish, and I'm not going to stick this under the light. So I'm going to order myself some Christmas red and maybe a burgundy color. Okay, I feel like, all right, how are we looking balance wise? Look at it on the camera. Well, we need more white flowers out of there. And we got to glue in all the um, berries. So let's do that next. Let's add the rest of the white flowers and glue in the berries. Okay, and I think that that'll be good. Front right here. This is actually a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Thanks, Debbie. What's going on? Oh, it wasn't in. Dana said good price could even be more. It's kind of smaller, so I feel like $69.95 is a good starting point. Definitely if I do bigger wreaths, they're going to be over $100 because it's, it's a lot of work. And it's such a great use for like odds and end fabric. And I do have a big pile. I don't think those berries are coming out. Did you get them all? Oh, oh hey, you got to let the glue dry. <laughs> there's a, a berry that's white just or whatever just push it down all right 
So we just need to add the rest of these flowers. Okay, I'm gonna start gluing them in as you poke them in. I need that there, but it's- The cool like, thing about this is no one else is gonna have your wreath if you do something DIY like this. And that's probably why we love the DIY so much. Everybody's trying to express themselves and be unique. And then you go down to the craft store and get a wreath and then all of your neighbors have it too. Okay. And even if they made all this same stuff, it's not gonna be laid out like yours the same. It would be nearly impossible. All right, guys, here is uh, the finished product. I will maybe zhuzh it a little bit more off camera. I'll get some pictures. We'll get it listed up on the website today. If you wanna make your own wreath and you need molds and resins, resins, molds and resin and copper patina, I mean, resins work. <laughs> visit jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to, sure to share it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys, have a great week. Where's the mouse? I've lost it. Oh, there it is.